everyone, and welcome to the show that hasn't yet been declared illegal. Enjoy it while you can. So today's episode we're going to be watching is She Talks to Angel, which, when I first read the title, I actually thought was She Talks to An Angel. And I thought it was going to be a case of, hang on, we're in season nine now, it's going to end, sod it, someone's going to die. And then I reread the title and now I figured, you know, it's actually just... Fluttershy. I, I, I don't know what they've got in store for us this episode because we've seen her talking to Angel before in spite of the fact that she's said in the past that it's more just that she knows what he needs. I don't know. I'm just going to put the episode on and find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, and already Angel wants something. Antoine believes what he eats is his business. Do right. other predators feel that way too? Oh. <laughs> Would any prey like to respond? Oh. <laughs> so she's actually. Does it bother you when Antoine tries to eat you? Therapy. Tries to. He tried to eat an elephant. Just because you're on opposite ends of the food chain doesn't mean you can't um, work. Huh? So Fluttershy really, uh, Angel really does want something quite badly. Then it doesn't mean you can't work together. No. No. <gasps> I'm so. Okay, he's apparently trying to get himself eaten. I am listening to you, but if you really want to be heard, you should join our predator prey support group. I don't think that's a good idea. Every one of them will try to kill him. What if all predators promise to only eat vegetables while staying at the sanctuary? Whilst so, okay, once they've left the sanctuary, they're still gonna go back to eating the prey animals. And apart from anything else, predators cannot survive on an all-vegetable diet. It will be detrimental to their health. Fluttershy, in trying to enforce this, will be harming them. It might look like chaos, but Fluttershy makes it work. No, it doesn't look like chaos. It looks like mayhem. There's a difference. But yeah, okay, this is, it's probably not going to go any further than this, but we have had acknowledgement that the predators do eat the prey. And her solution to this is just, not while you're under the protection of the sanctuary. So once they've left the sanctuary, it's just going to be going back to eating each other and trying not to get eaten. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Acknowledgement that there is carnivorous nature in this. And giraffes are apparently still not sapient. Salamander, then. I've never seen geckos breathe smoke, though. Have you? Oh, I certainly haven't. Again, he's probably a salamander. The myth is that they breathe fire. Myth? Legend? Doesn't matter. It looks like a gecko, though. I wouldn't worry too much. It's probably just what? something he's been eating. <laughs> oh, oh, um. Right, so Angel knows it. Angel knows the advice that much that he can just say it along. The real question is, can I help you? Yeah, it looks like the two of them need a little bit of therapy together. Oh, he's fine. We're fine. I... No... You don't know what he's in need of. He needs attention. Okay, thanks. But Angel and I are great. He's feeling neglected. Just because she's got a big job to do, he still needs his share of that love. Wings, I'm still finding really creepy that they can just use them like hands. What is it? Not fluffy enough? Not gonna touch that. You need to see if your food is causing your issue. However, a back rub from Fluttershy would calm anyone down. Hmm. Not now, Angel. Whoa! They're snake treats made to look like chocolate chip cookies. Made from what? Because if that's not chocolate chip cookie, then that is going to be a snake diet. And snakes... Need meat. No more trying to eat Muriel the baby elephant. No, I'm gonna be honest. Go for it. Let the snake try to eat Mirabelle the baby, the baby elephant, because that's not gonna end well for the snake. No, Angel. I have too much to do. 
Okay. I'm, I'm going to be honest. We are approaching the I'm disliking Fluttershy area here because it just seems really unlike her that she treat Angel this way. Yes, she's got a big job on, but this is Angel. She's got time to care for everyone else. Why can she not care for Angel? Listen to you for once. Just what exactly is that supposed to mean? It means that you've been paying attention to everyone else and treating him like a nuisance. Whatever it is, you're the only one he can tell about it. Little fella just wants you all to himself. I don't think he does want her all to himself. I think she just want. I think he just wants some attention. You just like the taste? Huh. Angel, that extract is in short supply. What's gotten into you? Every day this week you've been causing trouble. Yeah, um, I really hope they recover from this because Fluttershy's being a little unpleasant. Of course I know you can't talk to anybody else, but that's not my fault. I have responsibilities. Yeah, he's one of them. Tell each other what's bothering you. He's so impatient, even when he knows I have work to do. And how much attention does she give him outside of these times? You feel like I'm the only pony you can talk to and all I do is ignore you. Well, I feel like you don't care about my responsibilities. He is your responsibility. Behold the antidote you need. What? Is this what you meant by help us? Yeah, I was thinking therapy. I'm not sure I would drink anything that looked like that. True understanding is what's due. Each must come to know the other. There's no time to waste. Go directly home. But you both must taste when you're finally alone. Okay. Either we're heading for some sort of Freaky Friday situation, or that is some really, really strong psychoactive drug that she's just given them. It'll be just like old times. We'll drink the potion and settle in for a nice tea party. I can barely remember the last time we did that. And... That, that is the problem. You can't remember the last time you did that. That means that you, you can't remember the last time you did stuff with Angel. I, uh, oh. I know she said we have to take it together, so I guess I have to now. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hold up. Am I a pony? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it actually is a Freaky Friday body swap situation. Okay. Right. Question. Did we switch bodies? Okay, so we're actually listening to Angel now. Okay. <laughs> Seriously? I'm a pony? La 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 la. Talking is so cool. <laughs> Do you think this is what Sakura meant to happen? Well, the way she was talking it was. That's why I thought it was going to be this. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> toy bow, toy bow, toy bow. Yeah! Oh, come on. <laughs> I am so too listening. Quit being so bossy because... <gasps> <laughs> okay. So yes, they are getting to know each other's situation then. You think Sakura gave us the wrong potion? So you're gonna go to her hut in the forest and get something to switch us back? I'm fairly sure she didn't. All by yourself? You really don't know what it's like being a bunny. Good luck with that! Uh, yeah. She's small and vulnerable now. I wouldn't go off doing anything on your own. <gasps> the stare? You can still do that? Ugh! No fair making me do your bidding against my will. <laughs> so, Fluttershy as Angel. Angel Shy can still do the stare then. See how shy I am? I talk to animals. I, I want to marry Discord. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. There's my good old list of chores that I will absolutely not rush through because I definitely do not have better things to do. Well, well, well. Remember me. Don't get angry at the wolf for trying to eat you. 
In fact, it didn't try to eat you. It must have taken great strength to not eat you. Oh, hi, Angel. What's going on? And, of course, no one's going to understand. Do you know what he's trying to say? Nope. Sorry, Angel. You should probably find Fluttershy. If I see her, I'll let her know you're looking for her. <laughs> So, yes, she is going to learn that Angel obviously has no one to actually talk to but Fluttershy. So, she's more than just an owner to a pet. She is his only proper friend. We're going to keep at it until you start to develop a taste for it. And Angel is going to learn that there is more to being Fluttershy than taking care of him. <laughs> Oh, that ain't good. Mm, seems fine to me. As long as we don't need those keys. Mm, okay. I wonder what those keys could be uh, completely useless for. <coughs> Get Scout to switch legs? <laughs> Probably best not to wake him. No, no, no. They, they have to do that so their legs basically don't rot. Monitors of Korra's gecko until bedtime? Hang on, geckos don't do that. Geckos don't blink. Geckos don't have eyelids. They use their tongues to clean their eyes. I know that much. Okay, let's get you fed and off to dreamland. What do you eat anyway? What do you say, Snake? Can you find something else to eat if I borrow those cookies from my friend here? Uh, something or someone. And cookies probably aren't useful, uh, aren't healthy for geckos. Especially snake treats made to look like cookies. I don't see what's so hard about this job. Fluttershy is such a wife. There we go. And don't forget, the agreement not to eat anyone was only while in the sanctuary. <laughs> the, the end of that second log is right there. Just go around it again. Hello. Hey, Fluttershy nearly got eaten. Quite a day, my fuzzy friend. Did things work out for you in the end? Come on, okay. She's got to realise that Angel is acting weird, so they've obviously already taken the potion. Only one in all the land. How special she must be to you, the one who understands. <sighs> Perhaps if you explained what you wanted to some pony who understood. If you truly felt heard and valued, all would return to good. And no, come on, she's gotta know. She's gotta know that that's Fluttershy and she's giving the information that Flutters needs. He was on the list. Remember, Antoine wants to have Muriel over for dinner. No, Antoine wants to have Muriel for dinner. And again, that's not going to end well for the schneck. Fancy! Okay, <laughs> how did that even... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, well it's not belching smoke anymore. It's a it's an improvement. Technically I did him kind of, but more technically it's not my list. You wrote it. <laughs> did I though? What's gotten into you? <laughs> you do not want to know. No. She does. Uh, that's why she asked. Angel? What's wrong with her? Him? What happened? He's exhausted. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. No, I don't need to see either of them getting their heart broken. I need a jar of concentrated carrot extract. Stat! <gasps> it's locked in the supply room. Where are your keys? <laughs> inside the elephant, who is now inside the snake. Any ideas how to get the keys out of the elephant that's inside the snake? <laughs> Stop by getting the elephant out of the snake. I did not provide you with the care that Fluttershy would. But now you know what it's like not to get the level of attention to which you've become accustomed. Right, okay, so Angel was actually just being a little over-demanding as well as just demanding. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. There is only, there is only bad ways that this could end. Oh. 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 Ain't nobody needed to see that. <laughs> nice one, Snake. 
I'm that. Oh, much, much disturbing. <gasps> this place is so much work. Yeah, that's th the point of learning what it's like to be the other. I can't believe she does this every day. I just wish I could tell her myself. What? You can when she's awake. It was so hard getting to Zakora's hut and impossible getting back. You can't believe I survived like this? <laughs> there we go. Lessons learned on both sides. Okay. These animals are crazy. No wonder you don't have time for me. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. The initial risk of uh, disliking Fluttershy has been eliminated. You're sorry? I'm sorry too! Come here, you little bunny who's a pony who's a bunny! Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, no, it's okay, it's... <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm back! I'm a pony again! <laughs> and lessons were learned, everyone's happy, except the elephant's probably already been eaten again, somehow. And that's when I realized Fluttershy doesn't have to be the only one I talk to. I can come here and talk to all of you. Right, okay, I thought they'd swapped again and it's actually just interpretation. Okay. Now that I know what you go through every day, I understand why your time with me is so important. <laughs> I promise to always make time for you. Oh, and with the and with the hug, okay. Turns out your friend here doesn't have a problem at all. He isn't a gecko, he's a fire lizard. <laughs> I forgot that before they get their flame, it's hard to tell them apart. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to discover where the source of it lies. Or the fire that he breathes would be quite the surprise. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Thinking that he was breathing smoke would have been surprising if he was a gecko! <sighs> right, okay. Okay. It started out awkward. It started out like the whole 246 great and a trivial problem slash trivial pursuit one because they changed the name apparently and I didn't know. Anyway, where I thought I was going to end up disliking Fluttershy and I was not looking forward to that happening. But this one actually did justify the way that she was acting because it turns out that Angel actually was being over demanding and wanting all of her attention and yeah she had not realized that he needed that attention from her because she's the only one that he can talk to. And like I said in the episode, he's not just her pet, he's her friend. They they need to talk, he needs someone to talk to, and if it's not other animals, it's gotta be her. So okay, it was a close call, but that was a good episode. That had justification for the way that everyone was acting in it. Except for the snake, because how did the snake even do that? I get Cartoon. Cartoon physics, cartoon animals. But that snake should have torn its head in half trying to swallow a baby elephant. And as I also said, Fluttershy, I'm afraid, was inherently wrong there. I mean, okay, we've seen allusions to the predatory nature of some animals in her feeding fish. To polecats. But this is the first one where it's actually been acknowledged that predators eat prey. And unfortunately, predators that have evolved to eat other animals can't survive on a non-meat diet. They can survive on a mixed diet. In many cases, it's necessary. But they do need the meats. So to say that they need to live on an all vegetable diet while they're there at the sanctuary, that does mean that she will be doing them harm. She's going to be denying them the nutrition that they need, at least until they're out of the sanctuary and can eat whoever they want. But yeah, there we go. While this 
wasn't the uh, the strongest episode we've had in the second part of the last season. It was still good. I, it was still an episode that I did very much enjoy. It it basically had everything I needed out of an episode. It had Fluttershy. That's it. That's all I need out of an episode. No, no. It had Fluttershy being a little out of character f for the necessity of the plot. It had Angel desperately in need of some attention. It had lessons learned on both sides. And it had cute bunny pony hugs. That I don't know what more you need in an episode, but that's all I need. Anyway, I've probably prattled on long enough about this. So I will say thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, he's fine. We're fine. I... This is fine. The best of friends need help from time to time. Come visit me in my hut, should you change your mind. Don't you mind your own business, How the hell I'm a woman? <gasps> the stare? I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark.